All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, uh, I want to give you a look at a knife called the Mantis Knives, and this is the GH2024T, and made by designed by G&G Hawk Designs Gearhead. This is the Mantis Gearhead. Now, guys, this is an extremely interesting and odd knife at the same time. Uh, this is actually available right now at... Um, uh, knife Center for a hundred dollars. Uh, let's go ahead and do the specs before I even open it. Well, I mean, I'll hold it up here where you can see it. Uh, if it'll focus, there we go. This is the Gearhead or the GH2024T, uh, 2.85 inch blade. The cutting, the close length is 4.125. The overall is seven inches, uh, 0.110 on the blade thickness, which is really nice. Uh, and 440C stainless steel is a flat ground tanto. Uh, the handle thickness is 0.55, and it's a little thicker because of the mechanism. 4.02 ounces. Uh, it is aluminum anodized as your handle material here. Assembled in the USA with US and or foreign components. You figure it out, guys. That kind of stuff, I don't know what to think. But it is a Mantis Knives knife. And it is available for right at 100 bucks right now at Knife Center. Uh, you have aluminum here, black hardware. Uh, you have what it looks to be an aluminum black backspace or aluminum frame. Your frame uh, has this like inlay on top. See, I mean, it's like a frame with an inlay of aluminum. It's really weird. Uh, they are, uh, it is, does sound proud. As you can see, the liners, but the backspacer is aligned with that. And then your actual lanyard hole is in your frame. Uh, it's just bonkers. Um, and then to make it even crazier, you got this extra part here, which holds your, I guess, pivot in place with three screws. Uh, a screw over here holding that. You do have a loop over, not deep carry pocket clip. It only comes to right about there. Quite a bit sticking out, not left hand, just right tip up. And uh, yeah, just an odd, odd knife uh, designed by G&G Hawk. Now you've got this mechanism that is, well, let me just pull this open. The, the gears actually do move, as you can see. Uh, so it is a geared, the gear head, it is a geared flipper thing okay so you actually have to make sure you're out of the path of the blade and take your finger and push this down now that doesn't feel great in my opinion now it might also be that i've got a cut on my thumb right now now you do have this uh, you want to talk about lock bar access guys this is the greatest lock bar access of all time <laughs> except you know, this kind of comes down on you a little bit. You got to get out of the way. And then you got to get your hand rearranged, get it off of that gear, and then shake it down. Uh, really weird. Uh, but again, it's kind of cool. You do have a black Tanto blade with uh, your G&G Hawk, or wait, which one's which, Casey? G&G Hawk here, 440C, and this is your Mantis logo here. Um, again, the best lock bar access of all time. And then now you got to find somewhere to put your finger where you can shake this down and not get in the path of the blade. You see what I'm saying? It's just bonkers. So if I disengage, the best place to do is to kind of come back like this. Uh, but man, I, I've just been kind of carefully two hand closing it um, because I'm afraid I'm going to because your finger is now in the path of the blade. You see, I mean, worse than you've ever seen. It's it's bonkers. Uh, this thing is crazy. Now you do have a very nice Tanto. Does it cut? Let's see. You're like, hurry up, Casey. All right, here we go. Uh, yes, this thing is a very thin ground uh, Tanto blade. Does puncture not a lot, but again, the cardboard's moving. Um, it is kind of stout at the tip. Look there. See that? Very stout tip. Uh, and that would explain the lack of puncturing uh, there. But just a, a crazy, crazy knife. Now, if you want to know uh, the length, we'll go ahead and do our comparisons. You've got uh, the Rat 2. 
And the Rat 1 here, um, you can see it's a smaller knife. And just for grins here, since I got one here, I always do, we'll put a microburst, which is 7 inches there. And there you go. Very close to microburst size. So very, very interesting knife. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is anybody like right now, just you're watching this video and you're like, I've got to have one. Because uh, I want to know. Now, Todd, uh, I didn't get to ask you this when you were here. What made you buy this? Now, it is the geared opening and closing is super cool. Look at, I mean, look. It's, it's, it's got this really neat steampunky kind of thing. This opening right here as a klutz makes me very... Ah. And you can also, by the way, if you forget, you can open this, this Tanto tip into your hand. Uh, so you have to be very careful. Um, but it is cool. It's no doubt. It's, it's a cool, cool design. Uh, so what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Uh, who's going to get one of these? Who thinks it's bonkers? Uh, who, who thinks it's bonkers and they're going to go get one anyway? <laughs> so let me know down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So definitely like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, uh, all the things. And thank you guys uh, so much for watching. Uh, this is cool, Todd. Thank you. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.